Hey guys, Todd here again with Hobby Link Japan, and it is time for another review, another Tales from My Backlog here. So this is another kit that was released oh, a little while ago, and I've built it, but I just haven't had time to get around to doing a review of it. Now, before we get into talking about the kit itself, as a reminder, if you are not subscribed already to our channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Every last subscriber definitely helps, and a lot of our viewers are watching these videos just are not subscribed for one reason or another. Okay, with that out of the way, it is time to talk about the kit itself. And today it is another cross silhouette kit. Uh, SD Gundam Gundam cross silhouette. So this is my favorite line of the SD Gundam kits. Gundam kits that they have released so far. And the reason I really love these kits is they give you the option of having that cross silhouette frame or the SD frame. All right, so this specific one is the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. So this is the final version of the of the Barbatos that we see in the anime series Iron Blooded Orphans. With the Lupus Rex version of the kit, you get the Rex nail on the arms. As you can see at the bottom of his hand there, he's got those yellow fingers. And those are quite cool. One of his extra weapons is they know on the manual itself. All right, so this for this specific version, of, or for this kit, they give you the option of the SD frame or the cross silhouette frame. And as they note here on the instruction manual, you get that frame select. So you can, if you like the shorter version, then you can build it with that SD frame. Or if you are like me and you prefer the greater articulation of the cross silhouette frame, as well as the added height that that cross silhouette frame gives you, then definitely build it with that cross silhouette frame included there. And we can kind of illustrate the differences here because I do have this crossbone Gundam Hello. that does have the SD frame here. So on the SD frame, you'll notice here the leg only has the, that joint for the leg up at the top of the hip as well as down at the foot. However, for the Barbatos here with the cross with the cross silhouette frame, you have an extra joint here in the knee. So that is quite nice. You get that extra joint there in the knee as well as I'm just going to point it out here since I'm holding this guy already. You have an extra joint in the elbow. So you get an extra joint in the knee there and an extra joint in the elbow. So lots of parts are molded in different colors around. You get the fingers are molded in orange as well as the toes are molded in or yellow. I should say the toes are molded in yellow. The fingers are molded in yellow. Now you do have a few stickers that you are going to have to install onto this kit. And actually, if you look at the legs right there, you can note where three different stickers per leg are going to be equipped. So you have this one up here at the top on his kind of knee. You've got that little green bordered white triangle that's going to be installed as well as the two yellow stickers on each side of the leg. So pretty much there's not a whole lot of stickers that you actually have to equip onto this guy because for the most part, as you can see, as you're looking at this thing more closely, you can see most of these pieces are actually molded in color. And we have a couple of other stickers here on his shoulder pad up at the top, the little tiny little yellow little slivers there. So that's about it. But you also have an option if you would like to install red eyes. So this is a really easy part to switch out. If you want to change between the two, you easily can just kind of pull that apart and just swap out the eyes if you want. Now, I prefer the look of these eyes with that molded red piece that is sandwiched underneath that gray plastic. I kind of prefer that look more so to this cartoon eye look. So this is a big thing about the SD Gundam kits. They've kind of got these more cart cartoonish looking eyes equipped onto a lot of them. And you can choose between the two. You'll notice this one piece actually has both eyes equipped onto it. So if you want to just open up that helmet there, then you can easily swap between the two eyes or just rotate it around to whichever one that you would like to have displayed at any time. That's kind of a cool feature. So the tail blade is just something that can normally be equipped onto the back here. You'll notice on his back there is this slot right here and you can just simply plug this in and it just hangs off his back and looks quite cool. This kit comes including a little wire there. You will be able to have that hanging off of his back and 
you can pose it around into some other kind of cool positions however you would like to do it all right so besides the tail blade as well as those rex nails on his arm whoops you can see how how i mentioned how about how it's how easy it is to be able to swap between the two eyes if you would like i just actually had his helmet just popped off popped right off on me as i was trying to put this tail blade back onto his back here so yeah that's quite an easy swap if you'd like to do the two different eyes change it out whenever you would like so all right so besides the tail blade and besides his claws there's one other weapon the ultra large mace or as i've called it the corn cob because it kind of looks it always kind of reminds me of a corn cob but yeah this is actually a mace now you will notice actually that there are these kind of holes on the edge of each side each blade and you're able to just plug in this large mace and just have it hanging off of his back so that's great so if you want to store it with the kit and you don't want to lose it later then you can have him just hanging with that uh, large mace sitting on his back so actually with this kit they do include a spare set of hands with a closed grip now one bad thing about these closed grip hands is you lose that extra color for the fingers so if you want to keep the yellow for those fingers like is molded onto the open hand version you will have to paint these there's no stickers for these so yeah if you want to have the closed fist hands definitely be sure to paint those fingers yellow so with these hands you will be able to grab onto his mace there so here on the back side of his arm here you actually have this piece here that you will be able to open up and there's a little extra thing that's going to pop out and with this popped out you sh can be able to use it to grab on and hold the mace as well so yeah whoops a bit heavy there so if you want to have him holding on to this mace like that and I should be able to maybe pose it onto there so that's kind of quite cool probably I probably have it backwards right now probably should be hanging in the other direction but that's okay you kind of get the idea of what exactly these little arms extra things on the side of his arm or what they are supposed to do there so thanks again for watching and please be sure to stay tuned for more reviews coming up here in the future also as one last reminder please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already all right guys thanks again for watching hope everyone out there is staying home taking care and we'll see you again later